This elephant has got caught in a trap gun and injured his back leg. The wildlife team is getting ready to start the treatment after some observation of his body and his weight. He is not a weak one. He looks strong and aggressive. An officer carefully takes aim and darts at the elephant. It pricks him on the injured leg. The elephant turns around irritatedly and starts charging at the officer. As the officer is not seen, he turns back to go to the forest, loses his balance and falls down. The officers watch him quietly as he limps toward the forest. The herd is still around. Usually, if something goes wrong with one elephant, all in its herd come in for help. If that happens now, the wildlife team will get into major trouble. To avoid such a situation, our wildlife team waits quietly till the herd moves away. The elephant limps into the forest with droopy ears, lowered head and trunk, and shows no reaction to the people. That shows the sedation is taking place. Within the next five minutes, he should be fully sedated in his standing position. The vets are ready to move on to the next step as soon as he is completely sedated. The swelling of the back leg is clearly seen, but not the wound because it is in the inner side of the leg. The elephant now seems completely sedated. The vets quickly approach the elephant to inject the antibiotics, multivitamins, inflammatory drugs, and other relevant drugs. He is a strong elephant, therefore, he needs to be treated and reversed again soon. The trap gun is an illicit yet famous device among people from agriculture-based rural economies, which they use to protect their crops and belongings from wild animals. This does not require sophisticated technology and can be homemade at a minimum cost. Rope, metal pieces, metal pipes and pellets, and explosives that are freely available such as firecrackers are all that are required to make this device. The veterinarian checks the swelling in the leg to see if there's any inflammation or buildup of fluid. The leg seems fine apart from the minor injury that is on the inner side of the leg. He must have gotten tangled in a trap gun while walking on a cultivated land. These trap guns are victim-activated devices, which means there is no shooter who pulls the trigger at a particular target. Hence, trap guns do not fall into the gun category classified in law books. However, as no person can manufacture any gun without a license from the authorities, a trap gun does fall into the illicit small arm category. To possess a licensed firearm, a farmer needs to have a minimum of five acres of cultivated land. Small-scale farmers who don't fit into this category are left vulnerable and unentitled to a licensed firearm. These are the ones who eventually fall into using illicit devices to protect their livelihood. Now that the treatment is completed, the elephant has to be revived soon. The revival drug is injected on the outer side of the elephant's ear. An antibiotic spray is used on the injection sites to prevent the development of infections. There is no other injuries that need treatment. Even the wound made by the trap gun has dried up. But this treatment is important to reduce the pain and swelling and to put a stop to any infection that could be building up. It's high time now for the elephant to revive. 
though he is still calm and non-responsive to the callings. This does happen at times, as different elephants have different levels of strength and the way the revival drug works in their bodies differ. The vets give some more time for the elephant to recover, but as he is in the same condition, they start to get a bit worried. They patiently wait a little more to see any difference in behavior, movement, or twitching. Nothing happens. He's been like this for too long, so the vets decide to administer another dose of the antidote as it is not good to remain sedated for too long. The elephant starts flapping its ears, signaling that he is getting revived, but it looks like he is still not fully resuscitated. Vets go ahead with the administration of the second dose of the revival drug. This time it gets injected on the back leg of the elephant. Suddenly, the elephant regains consciousness and comes in to attack the wildlife team. The officers leave immediately as he doesn't need further treatment. Besides, the herd is still around. Though they couldn't be captured, officers were deployed to prevent them from coming to this location. Thanks for watching. Let us know your thoughts on this video and don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this.